investing journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, so we're going to take a look here at the Russell uh, 2000. Uh, this was the night of the election, as you can see here. These were the futures. Uh, when the market opened, you know, of course, on the 6th, it gapped up. You know, I think the largest gap I've ever seen. And also, we took out the highs on the long-term monthly by 10 points. I'm going to show it to you right well. Do, I'll do the weekly so you'll be able to see where we are. There it is right there. And if you move it over, you can see here we took out this high by 10 points. Just just, just a hair, okay? In fact, how much was it exactly? It, it, was, it was 10 points. So that's what we're looking at now. What I'm trying to show you here on this, let's see if I hope I did it right. Oh, I, I must have done 13 minutes. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Hold on just a second. Yeah, everybody that bought this, this is after the election. Now, this is the election was on the 5th, 6th, 7th, a lot of buying, okay? Everybody that bought this on the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, or 11th, if it gets below 2390, it's only 10 points away, all of those people are going to have a loss. I don't know if that means anything or not, but, you know, if I was looking at it, I'd say, hmm, something's not right here. But anyway, that's my, what I'm looking at. All right, let's take a look at the market that people have been talking about for quite some time. We've got some nice trades going on with 24-7, folks. I have to show you uh, this has been a very good one. Uh, we get the daily chart up so you can see it. This was one of the, 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 the – uh, uh, patterns from the uh, show on last Friday. We were selling this up around 50, excuse me, 48.90. High was 49.23. Uh, now has well over three points in it, which is a couple thousand dollars looking pretty good. The hogs have made a great deal of money, as has the, the corn's making a small amount of money, but still, here it is right here. You can see it's coming down nicely. We sold it at 34. It's now at 27. And we're looking for prices in the corn to come down a little bit more. Let's get this drawn in. We'll match it up to show you what we're watching because we know these markets repeat. At 420, you'd be looking to take profits there of $700. And at that point, I will probably be looking to go long. And I, that's what I'd be watching here, okay? Holy moly guacamole, folks. Something's happening here. I got to get to work. My alert just went off. Stay with me. This is going to be fun. So let's see where we are. My alert for soybean meal just triggered. So let's take a look at it. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's here. Let's get up here. We made it. Shut the front. No, no, not yet. Not yet. We're just getting close. That was my alert to tell me to get ready. <laughs> it's still it's still quite a ways to get ready here. Let's get it up here. Uh, this is the uh, S meal. Uh, this is December meal. I have to do January, folks. So let me get rid of this. It's just switching over to January now. And that'll just be a second. Uh, this doesn't happen very often where these alerts go off while I'm thinking. But there's where we are. Hold on. We're getting real close. We're making new lows. Boy, this to me would be one of the best. Hold on. It just, just taking out these lows. That's all it's doing right now. Okay. So I'm going to be buying. I can't buy December meal because that's not enough time left because I think this has got a chance to be a really big winner. I'm getting off track here a little bit. But see, once this alert went off here, it's telling me that these three drives are forming right here. But look at all this stuff that we got longer term here. Just all kinds of stuff over the last months. It's going here. And that's down 12 bucks from where it is right now. Okay, so watch this one very, very closely. The reason why, you know, there's a lot of inflation in the world. They tell us that there isn't any, but this would be a case where there isn't any inflation. The reason why is December soybean meal or any soybean meal is 80% protein. That's where you get tofu and all the, the meat or the, the – uh, uh, shut the front door, Larry uh, – Feed grain and cats, dogs, animals, U.S., all that stuff. Uh, anyway, but this, if you go back to, to 
well, I can't do yeah I can't do this is because it's continuation let's just look at the weekly and you're going to see we're back where we were you're not going to believe this folks back where we were four years ago in 2020 down in this area right here so when you get down in this area look how many years it was here and then it had this huge run okay there was your if you believe a b c d there's a b c d let's just look to see if that was right check the old cowboy out there johnny let's see how close we came there's your a b leg and your c d leg comes in uh, right about there. Well, that's not too far off. Anyway, here's where we're coming down. We've got a lot of stuff. And it's not going to be the end of the world for soybeans, folks, because people like to eat, and that's where they get their stuff from. So that's uh, let's pay attention to that. Now, this is a December soybean meal, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the January. They've still got this up here. Here's the January. And I want to bring it up here because I think we're going to be in this a long time. Well, that's my opinion. I'm going to refresh the whole thing. And here's the same thing coming down here. And uh, the price on the Janimia will be down here a little bit more. But I'll get in touch with you when we get closer to that uh, January meal. Okay. So it's going to be down there a little ways. Down there, that 1.618 number. Way down here, which is down another. Well, this one says another. Well, here again, the big difference between the December and the January, folks. So I'm going to have to redo this. Cancel everything I said. Get ready to buy it, but don't buy it yet. You want to buy – we want to buy December – excuse me, January when December hits the price. That will give us more time. See, de de December still got $10 to go to the downside, my opinion, of course. And that's what I'm looking at right here. It's 72. We want to buy it down $12 lower. So all you're going to do now is you're going to look at January meal. And I just lost it. What did I do with it? Here it is right here. I didn't want to waste all this time on this, but doggone it. Here it is right here. $12 lower is going to take you, uh, let's see, 12 24 take you to 82 uh, 282 Well, it's going to be about the same price, 282 so you'll be buying this around 282 with a stop below here and in December. But it's not there yet, so don't put the order in. It's not going to get there today. I don't think it's going to fall out of bed. If it does, it's probably the wrong thing to do. But that's it. Now, here's another market that's in deep trouble that we've been long and got out very nicely today. We said to put your – remember, we bought this thing at 1525. We got out of some of it at 18 uh, even, and then we got the rest of it out at 1701 today. It hit this level, rallied up exactly to the 382, and look at this, folks. It's dropped a point and a half look how close we are to the lows folks when we take this out when we take this out this is going to be really nasty i'm going to tell you that right now that's just going to be nasty when we start taking this out if this is all the rally we can get heaven help the tre treasury bond market folks because they're they're going to be in big big trouble all right so let's uh, uh keep that in mind as we're looking at that also we just hit a key level in the euro and i'm going to tell you about that when we get back so stay tuned uh -uh. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, since the election, the euro has been dropping like a rock, just like the British pound. And we've been short the British pound from 134, got down to 127 and change at seven handles. I was suggesting to some people that this might be a time to uh, lighten up just a little bit because we've been down for, you know, five weeks. And I said, yeah, you might miss the last part of this, but, you know, you've had a nice run. One of the people uh, texted me that they had put uh, an, in a very large account, seven figures, uh, had a million dollars in the account, and he put it in the short British pound, and he's made 350000 in the last five weeks just being short the British pound. Now, here's where we are with the euro. We've got a big ABCD. There's the 1.618 of that move. So my question is, if you're willing to sell it here at the 1.618 expansion, you see it comes right down to the 1.618, rallies up to where, folks? Right at 61% retracement, and here's the 1.618 again. So I think the meat of this is pretty much done. That this is my guess, and remember, I'm a technician. I don't get, I don't cover a lot of. The, I mean, I don't get all the moves all the time. I get little bits and pieces because I'm a nickel dimer, part timer. But anyway, that's what uh, that's what I'm looking at here uh, in the euro uh, so far today. Now, since we're talking about the euro. I want to come up here and show you um, about the uh, market that's got a lot of things going for it today. Let's here it is right here. This is the gold market, folks, and uh, this is really very important what we have going here today. I put this in the video last night, you know, along with the uh, other things that we've been looking at sale and the. Uh, uh, Hello, operator. Uh, sale in the, the Dow Jones Industrials. Uh, that worked okay. But here's here's gold. Remember, uh, a long time ago, like three and a half weeks ago, we were looking at this long-term chart. This was a weekly, and we were watching this number right up here. And if you remember looking at the daily, we were watching this big number again. There it is, the 1.618 expansion. That came in at 18.01. The high was 18.01.80. And you can see where we are right now. The low that we made today, which was uh, 25.95, the 3.82 of the low from way back in May. Way back in May is 26.03. So it went $5 lower. Since that time, it had a pretty good rally this morning. You'll see rally really nicely. Where did it go to? Of course, to the 382 and then backed off again. This is really, really important support in here, folks. 
So if the euro, the, this is related to the dollar. So if the dollar's strong, gold goes into the toilet, and it's certainly gone into the toilet. It's down two hundred dollars. I think it had four hour up, and I think we can see it. There's the, there's the three eight two here on election night right here, that dropped seventy five dollars. It rallied up, then dropped a hundred dollars. So it's down two hundred dollars. So I have not rallied very much, but keep an eye on this number twenty five ninety five twenty five hundred, because that could be a very very important low. Now let's play the devil's advocate. And we're going to take a look at the silver market because that's also an important one. We've done this before. I want to get this up here and bring that up right here. There's a silver. And uh, silver, you'll see here, this is the daily. Now, silver has not made the 382 as of yet from the low way back here in October, folks, of last year. That's the 382 comes in here at, uh, tw at 3007. Uh, the low has been uh, 3028. It's rallied 60, 70 cents since that time. As we look at this on the shorter time frame, it's, I don't think it hasn't given up very much. See, there was your low. Had a pretty good rally in here so far today. And with, when, with gold is coming down, making new lows, silver is actually held up. And silver is held up, I think, just about at the 50%. Well, right at the well, right actually between the the 50 percent and 382, it's held okay. So it's acting like we might get a, a little bounce here. Now we've rallied 25 dollars in gold so far today, but it hasn't turned as of yet. But it's giving indications that maybe it is okay. That's my two cents worth, and I might go to 120 dollars an ounce, but I don't know. I look at what I have to risk. Not how much money I'm going to make. Sometimes we get lucky. We got lucky in the gold. We got lucky in hogs. We got lucky in the British pound. We got lucky in corn. We got lucky in bean oil. We got unlucky in, um, what the, was, I haven't had a loss yet, have we, for a while. Anyway, uh, I forget. We had a short-term loss in something, but I can't remember what it was. All right, let's get this out of the way. Window tile vertical. Like I want to show you a market that's in transition, and that is the natural gas. I focus with that today in the uh, vi video this morning because here it is right here it was something that you know we want to you know work on the things that we you know talk about the most okay now here's here's where we were there was the ABCD we didn't quite make that to the ABCD here the other day and then something happened overnight and the market took off this this was the low of the day folks so you've got to look at that low of the day as something very important so you take the low of the day and you want to see when the first 382 retracement will come, okay? Now, that should have come right in here at 88. The low was 86. Then we went up and made a brand new high. Okay, now, when you make a brand new high, you know what you have to do. You've got to reconstruct this because the new high brings it to the new level. So all we're going to do now is come and take a look at that. There's your whole level like this. There's your 382 coming in. Well, it went to the 50% this level, but it's holding up relatively well. Something happened here to change the structure of natural gas. It might have been a contract. It might have been an agreement. It, I don't know what it was, but something fundamental that did it. So that's what uh, what we were looking at. But when you had that move right here at 86, and it went, well, excuse me, at 88, and it went to 86, that already made that that move up there was $1,500, folks. And what it did is it stopped. This is what you're going to see. There's from your high to your low. Where did it stop, folks? Within 10 cents of the exact 1.618 expansion. Folks, I got an announcement to make. 40 year, 30 years ago, this, this coming January, Mark Douglas and I had a seminar here in Tucson, right in my neighborhood. We got a beautiful clubhouse. They set everything up for us. We had uh, 30 people in for four days, and uh, we had a great time. We bought crude oil, folks, at $10 a barrel. That was our trade of the day. We gave them. We taught on Saturday and Sunday. We traded on Monday and Tuesday, and if we weren't profitable, everybody would get their money back. All the old cowboys going to pull a rabbit out of his hat this year and between the 11th and 14th of January I'm planning to do it and uh, you'll get a money back guarantee I haven't decided on what the price will be but it'll be within your budget but you'll get two days of teaching two days of live trading plus I'm going to be selling some of my books out of my library 
that uh, you'll be able to look through and you, I'm going to be a fair price. Whatever I paid for them or less, if you something you like, you can certainly uh, certainly have it. Anyway, that's what we're planning on doing. I'll let you know more about it. If you have an interest, you know, let me know. Larry at tradingtutor.com. It's limited to 30 people. Uh, your lunch and breakfast and stuff will all be included. We'll have a little bit of a little soiree there. But Paula Douglas will be my guest. Also, Rich Anderson will be my guest. And I'm working on one other guy out of the UK. He has to come a long way, and he might do it for us because we've been friends for so long. He might join us for a couple of days. I'll let you know if that's going to happen or not. But uh, we're going to be very, very busy, and it is a lot of fun. We're going to have two 55-inch monitors there, so you'll be able to see everything and trade yourself. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, we're going to spend some time here with December soybean meal because I think it's important. It doesn't make any difference whether we do January or December because uh, we can roll it over to January if we're in it that long. You know, we don't even know if it's going to work or not. But let's play the devil's advocate and go back here and look in July. We had this pattern forming. You can see where the low was right here. There's your 1.618 number. Here's your 1.618 number coming in. You can see you have an A, B, C, D pattern forming right here. I just drew them in so you can see them real easy. It re repeats itself over and over again. So we're getting really close in here. We're not very far away. So the number would be to buy the uh, December soybean meal at 282. I'll put this in here because uh, I'm not going to be giving these trades out anymore because nobody really cares. That doesn't make any difference either. Anyway, there's 282 is where I'd be buying and I put my stop at around 275. So you're going to, for $700, I'll put that in there too. Hold on a second. And I'll probably tighten that up if it uh, gets below there. But anyway, for $700, you become a farmer. Now, think of this, folks. You don't have to worry about the land, whether you lease it or bought it. You don't have to worry about a tractor. You don't have to worry about employees, seeds, the bank, you know, crawling up your uh, offices trying to get money from you. you. You just become a farmer for $700, and that's a, that's a good deal. Now, Let's look at it from the good side. Let's say that this is the bottom, okay? Then it's going to be pretty much like what the British pound did. It's going to rally back up to here. Now, folks, that is $4,000. Now, I don't know about you, but but if I'm willing to risk $700 to make $4,000, hmm, that's better than two to one, isn't it? Yeah, by golly, I think it is. That's a pretty good run. It's about six one, six to one. So that's that's the kind of run that you want to be looking for. So to get those. So anyway, that's what we're watching. And if this is the case, if you're still short the bean oil, which is still going down, it's up a couple thousand dollars. It will pay for this without any trouble at all. That was one of the trades we put on uh, last Friday. It closed in our favor, but you know nothing really dramatic. But it was on Monday and Tuesday that it really, and, and today's Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, that it's had the big down move. Okay, now let's get over here and talk about the uh, we've already covered the S&P how, how low did the S&P get see it went right down it held there didn't it by golly it went right down see the number we were looking at for the 382 on that whole th uh, this move right here let's just raise this up Larry so you can see the darn thing from there to there the 382 came in right there so it's held at 95 and the low has been uh, 86 we're at 05 right now, so it's holding up. But okay, now let's just look at it from a buy standpoint. And we'll just move this over like this, bring this down like this. If you like ABCDs, there was probably one right there. Don't know, but let's look. There's AB. Okay. And there's CD. That came in here at 94, and the low was... 86 so I went 10 points below now it's having a, holding up relatively well so that's what we're looking at I don't know if this is the top of the stock market or not folks but all I can tell you is when I see this many things with so many gaps these people have never handled gaps before you know I I'm a uh, astounded that people don't understand. Well, they haven't we haven't seen anything like this before in the stock market. Perfect example today is Honeywell. It came out with a, a bonker uh, starts with an H. I think so. H has got to be up here somewhere. Here is. All right, come on now, team. Where's Honeywell? I put it in here. Let me see. Well, there you are. There's an H is somewhere. A N A H has got to be up here. H I H H. There it is. Honeywell, right here. Now we're just going to look at it on the daily because you're going to see that it has one humongous rally. Uh, I got the wrong one. That's those high grade bonds. I got to go up one to get the Honeywell. There's Honeywell right here. You can see it had a humongous gap today. Not as bad as Tesla, but a big one. It gapped up, uh, wow, 20%, over 20%. And you can see what's happened since that time. It sold off. That's what where the market, stock market rallied up to the 382 and 50% level because of this one stock, because it's a Dow stock. Now you see where we are now. Now let's look at it intraday.
This is really bullish news. It's still way up on the day. It closed at uh, 19. It's still at 30. But let's look at it here intraday to see if it's had anything that we'd like to see. When And this might not even give us what we want to see because I have to uh, refresh it probably. And it may or may not give it to me. No, nah, because it's uh, delayed data. And I'm not uh, going to be worried about that. But anyway, that's what one of those that have this. We have so many of these gaps, especially in the banking stocks and all the other stocks. And speaking of that, I do have to go in and talk about Tesla. Get this up here. And also Apple. Both, both, of, my, both of the folks that listen to us every day ask me to follow those. So by golly, I'm going to do it. Here's the daily on, uh, oh, my God, how can Tesla be down? Anyway, there it is right now. We had this move yesterday. Got up 36. It's down uh, 32 bucks from right where it is right now. Filled the gap in here. Everybody will be probably looking to be a buyer at that level. So we'll pay close attention. Now, that was yesterday. And then today, you see that uh, it didn't make a higher high. All it did is got back to even. So let's see if there was a 382 that might have uh, – Wet our whistle here. No, it didn't do it. There was a move right here. Well, there was one little one right there. But this move goes right to the uh, – shut the front door and raise the rent. Hold on here. There's your high. There's your 61% retracement right in here. Now, you make a new low, so you've got to re redo that. So you go to a new low, and voila. What is that? Johnny, put out the placard there, buddy. There's your 382 today at 34. It's now trading at 26. Now, that's uh, that's the advantage of the 382. I uh, really, really uh, think you're going to enjoy this. In fact, one of our one of the guests is going to be at the uh, uh, seminar we're going to get on the 11th and 14th of January is this young lady right over here that brought us this. Here's what it said. When you hit 600 in the cash, SPY, it hit 600.12. That's where you want to go short. That was yesterday. And now you can see here we started to back off just a little bit. A little bit, but, you know, every little bit helps. That's what they say anyway in the trade of the game. All right. All right, let's get back to our charting here and take a look at Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. But first, we got to take a break. Will we, oh, no, I got 51 seconds for the break. Wow, I didn't realize oh, that. Pardon me. Here's that. Oh, we have to look at Alibaba, too, because it made an all-time or some type of reaction today. There was a 382, and Apple's down two days in a row here, so it's not doing well. It's got some uh, lawsuits uh, over in the U.K. where they, they sue everybody from walking across the street to ordering a hamburger the wrong way. Hey, let's take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-66. Four, eight. We're going to talk more about currencies. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is one of the videos that I included uh, this morning, uh, <clears throat> 4 o'clock this morning, uh, when I sent it out. The uh, question was about the crude oil. Now, crude oil had made a bottom in here. We were in this area right here. I sent it out. This is right here. Four o'clock. Uh, this is New York. This is New York time. So there's where we were right here. Okay, that's where we were. Excuse me. We were right there. New York time. All right. That's where I was. My time. Okay. So what I was trying trying to show the folks, I said, okay, there's a chance this is markets turning because the first pullback that we had pulled back right about to the 382. Then it made another new high. So the first thing you want to be doing is to double check to see what that level was so you go up to the next one and you can see it misses the 382 here by about 10 pips it looks looks where it goes to right there now uh, this is where it stopped because i said look to be a buyer here below the 786 and had a nice run but look where it stopped 618 there's your 382 right up there and look what this was folks you're not going to believe this a b equals c d I have to tell you a story about crude oil. It's one of my all-time favorites. It was January 1991, and we were getting ready to go to war with Iraq. It was called Desert Storm. It was going to be at uh, midnight Iraqi time in Baghdad, which was 4 o'clock California time. Jill was working with me at the, at the, at the trading house uh, for a while, part-time while she was going to school at UCLA. And I had bought the stock indexes that day, uh, and I also shorted crude oil at $42 uh, a barrel, and I shorted gold also. So I was short gold, short crude oil, and long stocks, and I was there getting my hair cut at 4 o'clock at the place where we usually do there in San Luis Obispo. And Jill called up and asked to talk to me, and she said, Dad, do you still have those positions on? And I said, yes. She says, well, have them turn on the TV. She said, Dad, you're going to get creamed tomorrow. She said, it's really going to be bad. She says, but we all love you. You've lost money before. We're going to be miss. <laughs> We're going to be with you no matter what happens. And I looked at the TV, and it was oh, they lit up. <clears throat> Those of you that remember, they lit up downtown Baghdad, and the war was over in 36 hours. 
Well, the quotes that night, you couldn't even well, – you didn't have overnight quotes, of course. So I had to call the old Drexel Burnham desk in uh, New York because I still had contacts there to find out what was going on. I couldn't get through for almost three hours. It was almost uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night when I finally got through to the guy I used to deal with. And I said, what in the hell is going on? He said, Larry, he said, you wouldn't believe the quotes. And my heart's sinking. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I said, all right, give me the bad news. I said, what's crude oil? And he says, there is no crude oil. And I says, what do you mean? He said, there are no bids. I said, what do you mean there's no bids? He says, there's no bids $5 lower. There's no bids $7 lower. No bids $8 lower. The only, low, the only bids is $11 lower, and it hasn't traded yet. I says, where's gold? He said, it's limit down. So I knew stocks were going to be pretty strong. Anyway, I, that, that move there was in 91, and then in 94, Four when we were here in January that same year, it was trading at just under eleven dollars a barrel, about eleven thirty something like that, ten thirty something like that per barrel, and that was a trade that we did during the time that we were trading here in Tucson for those those uh, four days. So that brings back a lot of memory. So here's what's going on: you had this, you've come down again. It's still in a downtrend. You see this really strong short covering rally here. It's doing nothing. It's just setting in here right now. So the thing that you should do if you're trading this, and this is what Mike Moore always talks about, is to check the others. So we're going to check. First of all, we're going to check the RBOB. This is the gasoline. It should be stronger. And by golly, there's the daily. Here's where it is. Now we're going to just come up here and go to the 60-minute. Still held those lows pretty good. See, so it's held up. There's where it is. It's stopped right at the 618 from yesterday. It hasn't even, oh, it's today's low. It was exactly 618. That's a good sign. And then, look, it came back, tested, came down one more time. But the key here is look at this rally that we had here. I wonder what that could be. So we'll go back and look from this high down to that low. And what could that be? Hmm. Johnny, pick up the placard and let everybody see it, okay? I keep it in here somewhere, but oh, that's the wrong thing to do. Uh, it's the wrong one. This is the one I want to do. And that's what we're watching right there. I think I got that placard here somewhere, don't I? Do I have it? Where is it? Oh, I think it's on the back side of one of these things. I, I've forgotten. I, he, there's no Johnny, folks. I hope you realize that. All right, let's take a look here now at the heating oil. And we'll come up and take a quick look at that. Heating oil is right there. Again, we're going to go to the 60-minute. My guess is this is a seasonal part of uh, heating oil, which is usually should start getting strong because winter is coming. Okay. Now, here's where we are in a 60-minute. Let's look at it on the daily because we've made new lows today. There's no question about that. Let's see where the low came in. Oh, my goodness. Look where the low came in today, folks. Exactly at the 61% retracement, it looks like. Nope. It's drawn wrong. Let's, it might still be right, but let's get rid of that because that's the one that should be right. Now we have to redraw it from this high to this low, and it's still the 61% retracement at 1995. It's already rallied uh, two points off the bottom. You can see there's the bottom right here. It's rallied off the bottom, so kind of keep an eye on this. Um, you'll see here it's uh, we, we had the first, uh, looks like the first 382 stopped pretty much right here but went up and made a new high and that means that the next 382 was violated do you see that should have stopped uh, right here and it went down to the 618 so it's still holding right now not too much right now but you know late in the day in fact it's up on the day it's good but it's still just chopping around in here what it looks like it's going to do something like this it's going to make a nice little gartley here a little lower so I'd keep an eye on that crude oil the same way we were watching the same thing here. It could get, well, in fact, it could go lower, Larry. Let's draw it correctly from your low up to your high. Remember, all these things we're looking at are probabilities, folks. There's never any certainties involved here. So keep an eye on this and that. Put my limit minder in here to keep a watch on that and also the gasoline. All right, let's move up here and let's just double check here. we got a couple of minutes to go. We want to clean this out and see what the stuff is doing since we were, since we've been on the air here. Let me see the, uh, the S&P's rallied up to 6011. That's really good. We've rallied about 100 points in the NASDAQ. That's pretty good. Uh, natural gas still coming a little bit lower. Uh, soybean oil still going down. 
They, oh, now this is still going down, but not as much as we wanted it to. Well, it's right near its low. What am I talking about? Yeah, it's right near its low here in the meal. So keep an eye on that meal. That that's a that's a Phi Beta Kappa, in my opinion. That's the Christmas meal, and it's trading at uh, needs to go down about another eight or about ten, twelve bucks. Get it get it for a clearance sale. It'd be really good. You'd be I th you think you'd like that one uh, pretty nicely. And what else do we have? Bond still. You know they're trending lower. They they don't look very good at all. And the euro will just check and see if it's had any type of a bounce. Nothing at all. This is really four minute chart, so it's just a hourly chart. You'll see that it's or this. You'll see it's virtually nothing. You know may or may not stop at that level. All I know is it's it's at that level. That's all I can tell you. Okay. All right. Those are the things that we're paying attention to today. So live every day. In an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll be back with you shortly. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, this is a page that I keep up for the Dow stocks. I don't trade them. I want to see how they operate because they help uh, what they, they help them. It's what they move so with the YM. But you'll notice here, CrowdStrike, it's had one, two, three gaps. Now we've got a little bit of a hanging man in here. Not usually a good sign, but look at Caterpillar. It's down 20 points from its high. Uh, JP Morgan's down a little bit. So all of these gaps that are here will be filled, but maybe not in our lifetime. You can see all of them are filled eventually. Even that little one right there was filled. And this one hasn't been filled yet, but it's getting close. Anyway, that's what I bring those to your attention for. I don't trade them, but I watch them because they're related. To, they, are, they are what causes the YM to act the way that it does. So that's it. You can see American Express has sold off from its high. Honeywell, we've already talked about. United Healthcare is on down a little bit, but still with a huge gap here. This was part of that 1,500-point move in the Dow Jones. And I will say this right now. Today is the 12th of November, sometime before spring. We will see a move down in the Dow Jones, 1.618 times 15, which will be 2,300 is where we'll see a down move in the Dow of 2,300 points in one day. That's because history has repeated itself more and more often than you might want to think because that's what happened in 1987. And I don't know if it's going to be a crash. It could be just a move down. It might be a crash. Don't really care. Don't really worry about crashes. I'm a short-term pattern recognition swing trader. It's what I I do all day long you can join us on friday the 22nd of november i'll be doing live trading there and i think we'll have a lot of fun doing it it's also try to remember to help your folks folks we got the hol holidays coming up and for some of these folks out there it's going to be a real bear i don't mean that out of freudian slip but it's going to be tough so try to help folks that need help that's basically like share the wealth a little bit so live every day uh, in an attitude of gratitude uh, and may god bless and i'll see you on the flip side tomorrow